When it comes to education in this country right now, our kids don't have a fair fight, especially our kids living in poverty. If you're born poor in the United States of America, when you show up at kindergarten, you will have heard 30 million fewer words, 30 million fewer words than your more affluent peers. Ask any kindergarten teacher in the country whether that makes a difference, and they will tell you it does. What are we doing as a country to fill that gap? Not much. Not much. So by the time kids get to elementary school, their early years, only one out of five is reading proficiently of the kids that are born poor. 20% are reading at grade level. Ask any middle school teacher or high school teacher whether that's going to make a difference when that child gets to middle school or high school. And where, where does it end in the land of opportunity for kids that are born into poverty in this country? If you are born poor in the United States of America, your chances of getting a college degree or the equivalent of a college degree are 9 in 100. Which means in this global economy of ours that every year becomes less and less forgiving to people that have less of an education, 91 out of 100 of our kids are going to be constrained to the margin of the economy, the margin of the democracy from the very beginning, from the very outset. There are 100 desks in this room. There are 100 chairs in this room. If we weren't the Senate, if we were kids born into poverty in this country, not even those three rows of desks over there in that corner would represent people graduating from college. Everybody else in this room wouldn't have the benefit of a college degree. We would never accept those odds for our own children. People in the Senate would never, ever accept those odds for our own children. I think that if we face those odds, if, if our kids face the odds of showing up to kindergarten having heard 30 million fewer words, if you knew it was assured that your child had a 20% chance of reading at grade level when they got to elementary school, I guarantee you, you would leave this place. You would leave the Senate and you would go home and you would address the problem. But when it comes to public education, especially our kids living in poverty in this country, we've stopped treating them like they're our kids. We're treating them like they're someone else's kids. We're leaving it to luck as to whether or not a kid can fill that 30 million word gap.